Here's how to fix GTA 5 ERR GFX init or file to initialize graphics driver or graphics device. Uh, first, you will need to make sure you have the latest update for uh, your drivers, uh, for the GPU drivers. For mine, I'm using NVIDIA, so I'm going to check NVIDIA app. And then under the drivers section, you should make sure that you have the latest game ready driver installed. You can click this button to check for updates. Now, if you have the latest version, you can close this. And what you can do next is open Steam or Rockstar or the platform where you have GTA. Then right click on GTA and then go to properties. And then under installed files, click verify the integrity of game files. And then wait for the process to finish verifying the files and repairing any corrupted files. Next, what you can do is go to documents and then go to Rockstar Games GTA 5 and then in here you should see a uh, settings.xml file you should remove it or rename it if you have modified the file you should also uh, remove or rename cfg.dat file and pc underscore settings.bin file if they exist and now you can try to launch the game again and see if that fixes the problem. Now, if you still have the issue, you can right click on the game on your platform. For example, Steam, go to inst go to um, general and then under launch options, you can force it to run a specific DirectX version such as DX11. You can also try DX10 if it still does not fix the problem. And if you have uh, multiple GPUs, for example, integrated GPUs and uh, other GPUs, you can uh, use this command space dash ignore different video card. And then make sure there is a space between those commands and then try to launch the game again and see if it works. Now, if it still does not work, what you can do is disable any uh, graphic mods or injectors that you have installed for GTA 5, such as the reshade or stuff like that. And the latest uh, solution is to go to your uh, browser and then try to uninstall and reinstall DirectX runtime. So let's open the browser. I'm going to use Firefox in here. And now you can simply look for uh, direct X and user runtime. And then click on the first link and it should take you to Microsoft's official website. Select the language or whichever system language you prefer to use click on download and then double click on the downloaded file to open it now you can confirm and this installer should pop up you can accept the agreements and continue to install DirectX runtime components and once it's completed you can run the game and that should fix the problem. You can also try to switch between windowed, borderless, and full screen options in the game. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.